for sake. <laughs> So Michelle found something new here today. You see that bag there? In that bag we have a badger that has moved in. I'm not so pleased with that because our chicken coop is right here, like three meters from the badger. So I've read on the internet that they do does not like the smell of diesel. So. I got a rag, a rag with diesel on it and I'm gonna throw it in the bag and see what's happened. Wish me luck. Here we are. For <laughs> It's a badger pup. It worked. Hello and welcome back to Cut Lake Grove. As you saw last night, we have a we had a unexpected visitor, the baby badger. Uh, it seemed to have worked the diesel covered rags. He isn't here today, what I've seen. I will keep a lookout for him. And I just want to explain that we live in the woods. The farm is in the woods. There are obviously going to be predators. Uh, but they cannot be so close to the house and to, the, to our animals. There are other ways to take care of the predators. But if I can avoid spilling a, an animal life for something as simple as needs to move, I will do that. So I will try these other methods of uh, using smells to get rid of them because we cannot have badgers so close to the, the houses. So this is the wall we're gonna tear down. It's in pretty good condition, but we're gonna extend the wall to get more insulation in. So we need to tear it down. As you can see here on the door, we had some visitors here a couple of months ago that took an axe and just punched through the, the door. So it's scrapped. Uh, and this is an old house, so the dimensions of the door is not the standard dimension. So I'm, I'm thinking that when we tear all this of this down, we're gonna see how the door is framed and maybe move uh, move the framing out a bit so we can fit a standard door instead it's much easier to find the window up there is gonna stay uh, it's an old window and we have no no reason to remove it so we're just gonna tear this down and then we're gonna extend it out like we did this wall by five centimeters and then build the wall on that uh, and replace everything as well so cue the ti time lapse I just have to say, I really hate foam insulation. It sucks because when you take it, 
just falls apart and gets everywhere. There's no good way to remove it. I've tried with bags and I've tried everything, but it just gets everywhere. I really, really hate foam insulation. So, now I'm done co complaining. Let's get back to work. So, this is pretty cool. When I tur tear down the siding around the door, I found some signatures. I don't know when, but w when somebody remodeled or when they built the house, they signed their name. That's actually very, very cool. I will uh, show you a still photo of, of it. So, I got some new information about the signature on the wall. It says John Gustafsson. And the man that owned the farm before me, his name was Gust his name is Gustav. Um, so I talked to him and John is his father. He told me that they renovated this house uh, in the beginning of the 1900s. So this is the signature from when he did that. That's pretty cool. Now down here you can see what what's happens when you don't do it the right way. We have big, big, big rut damage here. So I have to, when I've cleared, every, cleared the in, uh, insulation out of here, I need to lift up the entire wall. I need to lift it up with a jack and then make a new button beam and just push it in and secure it. And then drop the wall down on it again. Or actually, I'm gonna lift the whole house. I don't know if I will be able to do it today because it's quite a big job. Uh, but I need I need to do it. So if you don't see it today, you will see it in the next episode. So I realized I sounded a bit harsh when I said they didn't do it the right way. They did it the only way they knew how. But I. I thought about for a while by why in this corner of the house we had a lot of rat damage up there and down there. And then I realized that Gustav had told me that before it's not there right now, they had a shower right in this corner. So they didn't know how to keep the water out from the walls. So that's why it's a lot of water damage in dust this corner. I'm gonna have a shower there again but I'm gonna do it the modern way with the right materials so it doesn't happen again. So they did it the way they thought was good. So, the exterior wall, the paneling, the siding, whatever you want to call it, is removed. The insulation is also removed, even the upstairs is removed. So, now I just have to rebuild it, but I'm losing daylight and I want to go home and eat. 
I have to buy a couple of things, uh, some tar paper and stuff like that to be able to put in the new button beam. But that's a problem for tomorrow. I'm gonna go and buy stuff tomorrow morning. So thank you for watching Cut Lake Grove. Have a nice evening and see you next time.